So in my opinion, Nexon with the first descendant took a massive L yesterday in confirming the fact they with season one and the content within it will be drip fed to players over the course of a few months. Some players don't mind the idea, but the majority see the issues already where Nexon are doubling down on content today we discuss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Now I am giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in Calibre on a weekly basis. Now to win it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed. The more I see you active on my channel, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. So if you are not aware, you are probably watching this under the impression that Ultimate Freyna is coming with Season 1 on August 29th. Well, you would be wrong because Nexon has confirmed that Ultimate Freyna and more won't be hitting the game until October 30th, two months after the release of Season 1, which arrives August 29th, or even 10 weeks after. Now, many players, including myself, do not agree with drip feeding content. It's a process that does nothing but unsteady the ship, and in many guards, sink that ship. It's something that heavily affected Destiny in my opinion, it's definitely within the later stages of the game. And let's be real here guys, it's a process Destiny incorporated while still having 50 times the content that the first Descendant offers. Now you would have thought Nexon would have seen the player count fall off between releasing the game now and realise this isn't going to work. And yes, I know there will be people out there who support such and use the dumb excuses of things like oh maybe it's because content needs to be polished or it gives devs time to tune individual parts if things ain't right or it will keep players interested etc etc. All dumb excuses people will use blindly in support of something they enjoy. This is a bad practice no matter how you look at it and to be honest it doesn't surprise me with Nexon at all. I was all slightly warm into the impression they wanted what's best for their community here with the player base's interests at heart first. This proves nothing has really changed. Now looking at the dates you can see what's actually coming and when. Ok so the week 1 update of season 1 invasion arrives August 29th, with that we get the invasion dungeon, we get the descendant of Haley, we get the inversion reinforcement which is basically a new progression system where you earn skills, you get the season 1 battle pass and more. We then guys 5 weeks later on September 26th we get the void intercept battle, we get the second ultimate weapon come with this update. The first one is tied to the battle pass, which you will have to pay for. Uh, we then get external components. We get descendants, exclusive spawn and more. And in the week 10 update on October 30th, uh, we get ultimate Freyna, hard mode infiltrations, modification modules, ultimate modules and more. So to be honest, there's a decent amount of content there. What there isn't though in my opinion is enough content per month to last till the next or the 5 weeks between. Now yes I can slightly get behind time gating content but to time gate major parts of a season behind 10 weeks is a process even Bungie I don't think would even consider. If it was time gated by a few weeks then sure that wouldn't be as much of an issue and I feel it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. I said yesterday in reply to Moxie on Twitter who also doesn't agree with this. If any Hell Ultimate Freyna is available to purchase come the start of the season uh, on August 29th, that's a whole new level of shade. But you know what? Would you really be surprised at this point? I'm not too sure. Now what has confused players most about this is the fact that all this season 1 content we saw being time gated was advertised as coming with season 1, which I know is kind of the same thing as what's happening here, but the trailer doesn't separate content into dates, it shows ultimate Freyna, the ultimate weapons, the new void intercept boss and so forth, and then it goes with the date of, the release date of August 29th. This is misleading players and no matter how good Freyna's butt looks, it is a shady ass practice. There probably should have been 3 different trailers if this was the case and their plan all along and they didn't mean to mislead players. Another bizarre thing they have done here guys is they are releasing Haley on day 1, August 29th, but not releasing her modules until October. What is up with that? 
Now I know there's going to be people in the comments section and I've already seen them stating this that the same players and people that are complaining about the time gated content are the very same people who will be complaining that there'll be nothing else to do in three weeks if they release this all at once. My answer to that would be, well that's a Nexum problem, we don't owe them anything and it's a job of theirs to keep players interested, it isn't a job of ours to keep playing and this is the exact mentality which allows devs to get away with such. And well, if I'm hurting your feelings here, wear a damn crash helmet. I wasn't put on this earth to blow fairy dust up your ass. The world's a rough place outside of your room, trust me. And to a point of this, with that logic, you can look at it this way. The same players complaining in three weeks when all the content is done will be the same players now complaining in one week when there's nothing else to do when they stick to this time gated schedule. A player who complains is a player who complains. The problem here is you are getting the everyday game and mixed up with the folk who don't leave their house, don't wash or brush their teeth before turning on their PC, and have probably no doubt never got their fingers wet. I'm a person who games for a living and there's still tons of things for me to do within the first descendant until this very day. The foundations of the game though are the problem and the boring gameplay loop of leveling to 40, resetting, sitting in that bunny cave, leveling back to 40 and doing this on repeat for every descendant and every new weapon in the game that you unlock. This is just a tedious gameplay loop that most players are bored with. It's one of the main reasons players have stopped playing. Players definitely haven't stopped playing because they've achieved everything on offer that there is to achieve in this game. I mean, that just isn't the case. And well, if it is, then you, you're not involved in this conversation. You're a part of that 0.1% club no one cares about. Now, I'm actually really enjoying Black Myth Wukong at the moment, where the first descendant has been put on the shelf. And to be honest, I was waiting for a few days for my ultimate Valve to research. She'll be ready now as soon as I jump back on. Probably uh, I'll tune back in for season one to see what is up. But yes, guys, what are your thoughts on Nexon's approach to how they are planning to drop content within season one? Please tell me your thoughts down below. I'm actually really interested to see and try to understand why players would support such actions. Let me know down below. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. I just thought I'd drop a video earlier today, let off a bit of steam. Put it out there that I definitely am not behind drip feeding content over a monthly basis. That just isn't me. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.